I'm Derek Resendi. Unfortunately, our friend Grayson is going to be here today. And we're here with Concave Gear Tiling to improve efficiency of solar cells. So we're taking up the AEP challenge, which we interpret as recovering light from areas where you don't have a high density of solar panels or shaded regions such as that. Uh, the objective that we are going for is to redirect as much light as possible from the ground where there is no panels or a small number of panels to somewhere where it can be converted into power, such as a, a panel. Well, we did a little bit of analytical testing and we found that uh, aluminum foil was the best uh, material for us to choose and it had the highest albedo of the materials available to us and using a solar panel and a multimeter we were able to determine that um, by testing multiple materials um, over halogen lights. Our constraints were cost, material, and if heat is a factor. Some of our ideas that we came up with uh, were like a flat mirror, a concave mirror, uh, solid clear tubes such as fiber optics and movable solar panels that can adapt. The idea that we ended up selecting is a hexagonal concave mirror and we chose this because it has advantages of it redirects a lot of the light to a center focal point and its shape, shape allows for uh, better tiling uh, so it can be more efficient within a space. Uh, our manufacturing methods, we figured out that we can either use a CNC, a laser cutter, cut it by hand or 3D print it and we ultimately picked the uh, laser cutter cutter because it would be quick and even though we'd have a lot of parts. Uh, this is, ends up being our final result after laser cutting. And it's a bunch of sections like this that get stacked together and it ended up being 148 that get aligned with dowel rods and eventually put together to create our final result. Uh, a lot of the one of the challenges during uh, when we were manufacturing was it's cardboard so it's not very smooth so we just took a sander and sanded it out and made it nice and smooth. Uh, to get that mirror finish that we wanted we used aluminum foil because that's what we had access to and we found that it had a very high uh, reflectivity. When uh, we were testing, we decided to get voltage and amperage because we could get wattage and then power from that. So we gathered these, this using multimeters and we also tested if heat was a factor and we deemed it not to be a factor at this climate. The changes that we made during testing were we noticed that you could have many different focal points based on where the light is coming from. So we made a movable gantry to adjust to uh, most focal points to give the optimal amount of power. This compensates for when the sun's going across the sky and reaching through the zenith. You're going to be able to compensate for that focal point you would otherwise miss. A result here that we found was we, in our testing, got a 59.3% increase in power compared to just two solar cells facing up. So that's a pretty significant increase. Uh, in conclusion, if you don't want to spend a lot of money uh, covering the entire space with solar cells, you could do it with a design like ours, which would result in a 60% increase from if you were just to take the amount of solar cells required and flip them face up towards the sun. Uh, some of the challenges that we faced when we were making this uh, was smaller versus bigger panels testing we ended up deciding that putting one on top of the other actually compensated a lot more for our manufacturing defects and led to the best results. And our plans for the future here are we plan to further experiment with different mirror designs and finishes and we believe that there's a lot of performance to be gained from creating a more uniform smoother mirror out of a better material.